Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny 2. Time for an obligatory top five. We're going to go over my top five legendary weapons in Destiny 2 at this stage of the game right now. Now, I'm going to be staying away from weapons like this or anything that comes from like trials or raids or anything like that. I want to keep it to just weapons you guys can get if you're not doing the raid or if you're uh, not doing trials, right? This, uh, just play the game. You can get them from leveling up Vanguard, from Crucible, from uh, Flashpoints, from uh, if you're in a clan, obviously. Clan rewards too will play a big factor in you getting some good powerful gear. All right, so without further ado, let's jump into my top five legendary weapons at this stage in the game. Okay, coming in at number five is going to be Hawthorne field forged full auto shotgun all right now this thing may not seem like it's got a lot of uh punch to it but believe me this thing just wastes everything in pvp and in pve i forgot to mention in the beginning i'm gonna be covering pve and pvp stuff here right so not everything is just pve but uh yeah this thing um i use it in the raid a lot like especially for yellow bars right this thing will take a yellow bar down really really fast let me show you the actual perks what it looks like so mine's only 299 i need to find a better shotgun to infuse into it my overall character light is 305 but gotta find a better shotgun so here's what she looks like and of course i gotta throw on the raid shade because it just looks cool. So it's got a lightweight frame, so you're going to move faster with this thing on. Uh, you got rifle barrel, smooth bore. I go with rifle barrel, so I maximize my range. Then here you can go with tactical mag or assault mag. You get a little bit more stability, but I go with tactical mag because I don't care about stability. And it's got full auto, and someone is shooting me or something is shooting me right now. Which, oh, here we go. All right, watch. We're going to see how quickly we can melt this yellow bar here. This guy should give me a loot chest, right? There we go, and he's melted. Yeah, this thing, well, I mean, granted, I am, like, pretty powerful now. So, yeah, this is number five. And uh, in PvP, it's a little weird, right? So you, you'll you run up to someone and you'll waste them real quickly. But because it fires so fast, here, watch, boom, 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 boom. You just, you, you basically waste all your ammo on one person. If you're good, not like me, if you're good, I'm sure you could two-shot someone. Well, you probably even one-shot someone. Not 100% sure. But you could one-shot someone with it or two-shot someone with it. I'm babbling. But you know what I'm talking Oh, there's a chest over here. You know what I'm talking about, guys. I find the one I use in PvP, it's the most effective. Because if I, uh, all the other shotguns I've tried, whenever I go up and, like, I try to one-shot them, it's not like within uh, the beta. The beta, the shotgun they gave us, I was able to go up to someone and shotgun them. I find that with the shot, all the shotguns I found so far, they get them down to like near health and then they waste me or I get team shot. But let me know in the comment section, what's your favorite shotgun for PvP? Okay, coming in at number four, you're probably already familiar with this thing, but it is the Nightshade. And yeah, this is, a, I love it for PvP and for PvE. I love it for PvE because it's got kill clip, right? So every time I do a reload, I get some bonus damage right there. But this is the only pulse rifle that I've had luck with when it comes to PvP. I don't know what it is, guys. This thing is just really good. It melts people. Uh, and for PvE, obviously, I like kill clip. I find kill clip for me in PvP. Uh, really, do I ever get a kill and then actually do the reload and then there's a guardian standing right there. And then I can, you know, do some bonus damage and waste them. But let's go hide in here. I'm going to show you the perks. Now, I love this shader I put on it. This is the Soros Modular Shader. Are you guys chasing me? No, they're not. All right, so you're probably familiar with this, but let's go through it anyway. So, uh, it's got a lightweight frame on it, so you run really fast with it. Uh, I just use the standard Red Dot Micro, but you can go with the uh, Red Dot 2, but I like this one. Uh, it's got Tactical Mag or Armor Piercing Rounds. I go with Tactical Mag just because I want as much stability as possible. Uh, you know me, guys. I have terrible aim. It's got Kill Clip, so reloading after kill is going to give you some bonus damage. Uh, here's the Soros Modular, uh, let's see, Soros Modular Shine. Here's what it looks like with the Raid Shader on, but I don't know. I like... I like the shader I have on it right now, and uh, I need to infuse this thing. I have, well, I need to put a mod on it. I'm saving this mod right here just because I don't know what I want to put it on for kinetics. I just got the Ghost Primus from the raid. Not sure where I'm going to put that um, mod on. So, all right, let's jump into number three. Okay, coming in at number three is going to be Uriel's Gift. Is it Uriel's or Uriel's? I don't care. I'm calling it Uriel's. This thing is awesome. This thing reminds me of the Vanquisher from Destiny 1. It's got that rate of fire and impact that I just love. Uh, it's a little bit slower firing than, say, like the Scathe Lock and things like that. So this thing is just what's, I mean, there's not much to not like about this thing. Besides the fact that, well, you can have a burn on this thing. So mine's 304. It's got a precision frame. So the weapon's recall pattern is more predictable and it's vertical. You got the Spark PS or you got the Flash. I, for some reason, love the Spark. I don't, I, I, I just don't get along with the Flash for some reason. It's got high caliber rounds or you can go with steady rounds. This thing's pretty stable as is. So I just go with high caliber rounds because I want a lot of range. 
And you also have tap the trigger, so it grants a short period of increased stability and accuracy on initial trigger pull. I have a solar mod on it, and I also have the honors of the nine shader on this thing. But yeah, I use this thing in pretty much all activities. I use it in parts of the raid. Actually, you know, most people would think I would use my trials of the nine auto rifle for um, the final part with Callus. I usually use an auto rifle like hard light or something um, when I'm taking out the skulls, because I'm usually the one that gets teleported. But no, I'm using this thing here. This thing, um, there's nothing really to not like about it. It's got good damage. The reload is not that bad. It's, it's a little bit on the slow side. But yeah, this is definitely my number three. Alright, coming in at number two is going to be Origin Story. This thing is redonkulous, right? It's got Rampage on it and Rampage stacks. So the more kills you get, the more damage this thing is going to do. So let's kill you, and then let's kill your friend here. That's times two, and is there a third I can kill? No, I'm probably not going to be able to take him down. Let's see, here we go. No, went back to one. So yeah, this thing has Rampage on it. So the more kills you get, the more damage this thing does. So I'm pretty sure the Raid uh, Hand Cannon has... This perk and it has rampage on it, so you get a kill, and then you get more damage and more damage and more. And look at this with the shader on. That's the raid shader on this thing. This thing is like the Uriel's, Uriel's, whatever you want to call. It. Oh, and here's a yellow bar right here. Let's kill him. Uh, this is just like. Uh, oh, I forgot. I put my uh, merciless on. Hold on. Let's just kill this dude, and then I'll show you the auto rifle. Waste you. Yeah, I love this thing. This thing is. This is what I use for DPS on the boss callus. All right, let's go back to the auto rifle here. So let's take a look at the perks, and we'll go shoot some more things with this thing. So I need to infuse this thing. Trying to find a better auto rifle to infuse. And actually, I did get the raid auto rifle tonight. I haven't played around with it. If I don't like it, I'm gonna infuse it into this bad boy. This thing has the same rate of fire and impact, basically, as the uh, Uriel's gift, right? So 450 rounds per minute. It's got a, a few more rounds in it, but it's got precision for the main perk, right? So this weapon's recoil pattern is more predictably vertical. I just go with the hit mark IS. You can. Go to a couple other sites here, but for me, the clean site, yeah, I don't like that site. I like this site right here. You got a pended mag, so you get uh, an increased magazine size, or you can go with flared magwell, which is going to increase stability and increase the reload speed, but I'm fine with a pended mag. Then you got Rampage. Kills with this weapon temporarily stack, and it could stack up to three times. So this comes in very handy when you're finding a bunch of ads. Let's see if I could find a couple of ads here. Let's see, there's one. All right, I did 97. No, that's not going to work. Let's go uh, Let's go back up to this room over here and see if we can find some more ads. All right, so there's some ads here. So we're going to kill you, then we're going to kill you, and then we're going to kill you, and then we've got Rampage times three. Let's see how long it actually lasts for. It, okay, it's brief. That's Okay, let's put it that way. You got to... Well, if you're using it in situations where you're clearing ads, this is where it comes in handy. Because uh, it does last a very short time. It's not very long. But Rampage, I think, is an awesome perk. I wish more weapons actually had it. But this is number two, guys. Origin Story. Love this thing. All right, coming in at number one. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? Yes, of course, it's everybody's favorite. It is the Nameless Midnight. So this is the scout rifle that has explosive rounds in it. And it's got a really good reload. There's basically not anything to not like about this thing. Except that I have terrible aim. Get out of here. There we go. So yeah, I use this for the final section of the raid when we're doing DPS on Callus. I'm using my Merciless here to do DPS, but when I run out of uh, power ammo, I switch to this thing here. So this is what I'm using for uh, pretty much all PvE activities when I need a scout rifle. Uh, early on, I was using the Does Not Compute. That's the real, real high impact scout rifle that was in the beta, actually. But this thing is perfect, right? So it's got 180 rounds per minute and it's got 16 in the mag. So uh, it's got a precision frame, so this weapon's recall pattern is more vertical. Uh, you got the Red Dot 2, which I do like that sight, but lately I've been finding I like this one here. Increases handling speed, increases range a little bit. The, the, the recoil on this thing is totally manageable. You can go with Flared Magwell or Steady Rounds. I choose Flared Magwell, so increases stability, greatly increases reload speed. And if I go with Steady Rounds, I'm going to take a hit on the range and give me a little bit more stability. I don't need it. I want that range. But the main great perk that everyone loves this thing is explosive payload. So projectiles create an area of effect detonation on impact. So I can't say this enough, guys. If you get this thing, do not dismantle it. Hold on to it. This is one of the Vanguard Scout Rifles. I know I got it early on and was not really impressed. I was using something else. I forgot. You know what? I've got the Destiny Item Manager up in front of me. And if I could find it, I'm going to throw it on my character. Where is it? it this All right, hold on. This thing here, I'm going to find it in a second here. Just love live videos. This thing here, Call to Serve. This is a really good scout rifle too. And if you compare, basically the same thing, right? But I don't know what it is. Just the explosive rounds, in my humble opinion, make a difference on this thing. But Call to Serve does have triple tap. So they're both really good scout rifles. But I want to hear from you guys in the comments section. What are your favorite? What's your top five legendaries that you guys are liking right now in Destiny 2? So that's it, guys. Do me a favor. Drop a like at this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at Mesa Sean. Check out my stream. Usually and always on YouTube. And that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir. And I'm just waiting for this public event. Yeah, there's only two public events on, on uh, Titan, correct? 
I know, this week's Flashpoint was, was supposed to be IO, but it's not. That's it, guys. See it.